Hi, Nick Osborne here. I'm back again talking about how to weave emotional intelligence, emotion into output from AI tools like ChatGPT or GPT-4. So one of the most effective and simplest ways of adding a layer of emotion is by sharing and telling stories. Stories are, hey, it doesn't matter where you live in the world. It doesn't matter your culture, your language, the geography, whatever. We, we, we all know what stories are. We all share stories. We all enjoy stories. And every story has some kind of emotional kick to it. So remember, AI does this wonderful job of creating these, you know, doing the research, doing the brainstorming, doing the outlining, creating a first draft, a second draft. But AI output, if it's just left there, tends to be a little bit dry and a little bit ordinary and a little bit like what everyone else is creating. So we want to add in some emotional elements here to differentiate it and to give it more power to help, it, help you know, Emotion helps engage readers and engages prospects and customers. So if we're going to add story to that content, let me say, describe three separate ways of doing this. First of all, you can, you can, you can just share personal anecdotes. If you're the author of, of, of that text and you can talk about, hey, I was cycling to work this morning and all of a sudden at the in intersection of X and Y, something happened. So this is something that happened in, in your life. It's a personal anecdote. And again, it's not something that AI tools are going to include because they didn't cycle to work. <laughs> so, so it's these human elements that help us differentiate. So that's a personal anecdote. Another one could be a user-generated uh, story. So if you have comments open on your blog or you conduct surveys or you have customer service happening in some way, you're probably getting feedback from customers and you're probably getting stories from those customers. And if you can pick up a positive story of, of, of where a customer had had an amazing experience with your product or service, then share that. Um, again, there's a kind of social proof there when your customers say nice things. But again, by sharing it in the format of a story, you're, you're adding this emotional layer to your copy. Finally, you can actually come up with like hypothetical stories. So for instance, we'll go back to cycling to work. I was cycling to work this morning when I had a puncture and uh, I opened up my bike bag and oh my goodness, my puncture repair kit wasn't there. So now it, it's not actually true because my puncture repair kit is always there. I'm paranoid about getting punctures. But I can make up that story. It's a hypothetical story that I can make up. It's based on my real life, but I've added in an element to make it, oh my goodness, because you can almost feel the, the, the emotion of that moment of, oh my goodness, when you realize is when I realize that I don't have the puncture repair kit and I'm 10 miles from home. So, you know, personal anecdotes, user-generated stories, hypothetical stories, these are all simple ways to, to build story into text. And like I say, it's, it's a very, very powerful and effective way of adding to an improving um, output from AI tools. And it's a great way to differentiate your copy from anything those tools are creating on their own because they don't really have stories to share and not in the same way we do as humans. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you wanna learn more, just scroll down. Thanks.